I'm gonna tell you all about Linda Paston. She's so fascinating. I'm gonna tell you about her history, her themes, her writing style, what she writes about. I hope you enjoy it because she's just so interesting, so fascinating, and how she, what she puts into words is incredible and why she does it. Um, so tune in, I hope you enjoy, and here we go. Linda Paston was born May 27th, 1932 in New York City, and she grew up in the Bronx with a very Jewish family. She married then later Iron Paston, and they had three kids, Stephen, Peter, and Rachel. She graduated from Radcliffe uh, College and then she received her MA at Brandeis University. I think that's how you pronounce it. However, she decided after college that she would not write or do any poetry, but she was more concerned and concentrate, concentrated on spending time with her family and raising them instead. Later though, 10 years later, her husband pushed her into writing poetry, and so she did. Around 1970s, she started writing um, quiet lyrics. Her themes of her poetry were uh, family, grief, parenting, and marriage. She chose these themes because she wanted to express the anxieties that exist in everyday life that people don't talk about. She's like, I wanted to express what I felt as a mom, a wife, a daughter that, you know, people go through, but this is how she expressed it and this is through poetry and it's beautiful and it puts you on a roller coaster of emotions and understand, you know, at some point what she felt or was going through, she paints a perfect picture. She wanted to full of acceptance and the honest truth, and she definitely did that. Her signature was growth. She saw growth in herself, growth in her kids, growth in her family, and so that's really what she wanted, I think, other people to see as well, and to other people to get out of also her poetry. This was all her footsteps, as quoted from encyclopedia.com, quote, the ability of the poet to make the reader see and feel always serves a polit political function. Passon's poems were built to finely route images and plainly articulate narratives and are replete with references to writer's tools. Her central emphasis is on labor. Her labor to form words that meet experiences. Her labor against desolation and towards meaning in light of morality. Death and the shadow that death casts on domest domesticity and the life are major preoccupations, end quote. For one of her poems um, called The Five Stages of Grief is about understanding the grief process, uh, which is she had to go through, I think because her uncle or father had died and she knew what it felt like. So the f each stage was different. The first one was denial, second one was anger, then bargaining, then depression, and the last one was acceptance. She dived deeply into those feelings and the pain that she discovered. However, at the end, she did say, nothing can be really lost. She makes you go up and down these roller coasters and feel sad and happy. And, but at the end, she always wants you to have hope. And, you know, at the end of the day, there's something good out of it. So that's so, to have that many emotions in poetry is amazing to have. Another poem that she wrote, um, that I actually wrote about for another assignment was called To a Daughter That Leaves Home. And it talks about, she's teaching her daughter how to ride a bike. 
And as she's riding her bike, the daughter gets further and further, further away from her and she realizes it. And she's like trying to catch up to her, but all she can hear is her laughing and wave, seeing her wave goodbye. And to her, that metaphor was her growing up, her leaving the home, her, you know, you train your kids to um, leave and prepare them for life. And, you know, she, she realized, you know, teach your kids how to walk, you know, how to ride a bike, then how to drive. And she was no longer at that stage where she needed her. And she knew that. And at the end of the day, she knew that was good for her. So the poem was awesome and I loved it because I had just went through college and leaving my mom and how hard that was for her. So I hit me hard in a different way and it probably would hit my mom if she read it in a different way as well. So I feel like when people read her stories, it can relate to so many people because so many people have gone through so much. And like, oh, I've been through that. Or I've felt that before. So her poetry just hits you in different ways. Um, then I think I have most poetry I like about her poetry is I understand it um, some poetry is hard but she puts it in words that make sense and that you can visually see and picture perfectly in your head what um, she's picturing not only was she a mom and did all of that she won awards um, such as the poet L Lorette Laureate of Maryland in 1991, and she also won an award called Best Hoskins Prize of Poetry Magazine. She also received many more, but those were just some, and she also received some in college. So that is just a little bit about Linda Passon. She is a phenomenal woman, and I love how she put poetry and writing the thing that she loved and family and her kids and her husband and she put them together and it became all in one so I love that she did that her passion and her both of her loves come together so it was so good to learn about her I hope you learned about her too thanks for listening